Werner von Braun is the engineer who developed the Nazi V2 rocket and then parlayed that into developing the Saturn V rocket that launched Apollo to the moon. And in the middle of that, during the Second World War, he has one pivotal event that I think allowed him to make that transition from war criminal to American hero, and that was his arrest by the Gestapo. On March 22nd, 1944, the night before his 32nd birthday, Werner von Braun was arrested by the Gestapo. He was put in protective custody along with four other men from the rocket team, including his younger brother Magnus. He wasn't given a definitive reason right away, but it turned out that Heinrich Himmler, head of the SS, was punishing von Braun for not handing over control of the rocketry program to him. What makes this really weird is that von Braun was a member of the SS. He was actually receiving yearly promotions for doing pretty much nothing. He was also a card carrying member of the Nazi party, but he had denied Himmler control of the rocket program. That was firmly under the army and under Walter Dornberger. While von Braun was in jail, Walter Dornberger took the issue to Albert Speer, Hitler's chief architect turned minister of armaments. He took the issue directly to Hitler and convinced Hitler that he had to free von Braun and the other three men, otherwise the A4 program or the V2 program would languish. Hitler said, they could be freed and protected so long as they were useful. Now, why is this the most pivotal moment in Von Braun's story? Because it gave him a reason to say that he was not a real Nazi.